Jacob had 12 sons, and he loved me the best. I was the child of Rachel, his beloved. He gave me a beautiful coat that had many colors. This made my brothers very jealous because it showed everybody that I was the favorite son. I had two dreams and I told them to my brothers. My brothers asked, do you think that you, can, you are going to rule over us? And they hated me even more because of the dreams. Joseph's father sent him to see about his brothers who were out in the field tending the sheep. He had food for them to eat, but when they saw him coming, they said, Here comes the dreamer, and he plans to kill them. So they stripped Joseph off his coat of many colors and took him and threw him into the pit. Then they saw him down, then they sat down to eat their dinner. As they were eating, they looked up and saw a caravan of merchants coming on their way to Egypt. So when the merchants came by, Joseph's brother pulled him out of the pit and sold him for 20 pieces of silver. The merchants took Joseph to Egypt and sold him to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials. They planned to lie to, to their father and say he was eaten by a wild animal. So they killed a goat and smeared its blood over Joseph's coat. They took the bloody coat back to Jacob and said to him, we found his bloody coat in the wilderness. Look at it and see if it, if it is Jacob, Joseph's coat. Jacob recognized the coat and said, It is my son's coat. Surely some ferocious animal has eaten him. He must have been torn to pieces. Jacob wept bitterly for many days. All of his sons and daughters came to comfort him, but he refuses to be comforted. I am Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, which was also my father Jacob's name. I plotted against my brother Joseph, my other brothers. I did not like his dreams because it seems as though we will be servants to him. When we saw that dreamer coming, we planned to kill him, but I had second thoughts and told the others, shed no blood, throw him into a pit. My secret plan was to rescue him later and deliver him to our father. I felt so guilty what we did to Joseph, that when we went to buy grain and the governor asked for the, my youngest brother, Benjamin, I gave my two sons to my father and said, kill them if I do not return with Benjamin. I am Judah. I encourage my brothers to sell Joseph to the Merchant who were on their way with spices, ointments, and perfumes to sell in Egypt. We took Joseph up out of the pit and sold him for 20 pieces of silver. I felt so guilty when the chalice was found in Benjamin's bag. I came forward to stand in his place to be a slave. I told the governor our father would die if Benjamin did not return with us, so please take me instead.
tell me if they are good or bad. He worked in the house of Potiphar and was placed over all of Potiphar's wealth. Yeah. Potiphar's wife told some terrible lies about Joseph to her husband. Yeah. Because of his wife's lies, Potiphar The head jailer took a liking to Joseph and placed him in charge of all the other prisoners. Yeah. Joseph used his God-given gift to interpret the dreams of the other prisoners. Yeah. He was stuck in jail for more than two years. Yeah. Pharaoh heard that Joseph had the ability to understand dreams. Yeah. Pharaoh released him from jail to explain his dreams. Yeah. Pharaoh believed that Joseph told what Joseph told him and put him in charge of the entire yeah. of the entire yeah. land of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Fulfilling the dream. The famine was really bad in Egypt and beyond. Individuals from various nations came to Egypt to buy food at the authority of Governor Joseph. His brothers were among those who had to face him. For two long years, he was able to disguise himself and relate to them as a stranger because they did not recognize him. However, the moment came when Joseph held all his cards he could play and, and he could play them exactly as he wished. His brothers were completely at his mercy and fortunately for them, mercy is what he extended. Not only had their long lost brother suddenly reappeared and their long hidden secrets been exposed, his dreams were fulfilled. And their brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be thy servants. Genesis chapter 50, verse 18. And he said to them, I will not sell you any grain unless your younger brother is with you. <clears throat> While I was in prison, I wonder if God was really with me. Then one night, Pharaoh had two dreams. In his first dream, he was standing by the Nile River, when all of a sudden, he saw seven cows come up from the river. These were seven big, fat cows, and they began to munch on the reeds on the riverbank. But then, he saw seven different cows come up from the river. These cows were all thin and ugly. The seven thin and ugly cows ate the seven fat cows. In his second dream, he saw seven heads of grain. They all grew from the same stem, and they were all healthy and full. But then he saw seven new heads of grain grew from the same stalk. These were all thin and scorched by the east wind, and the seven thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven healthy ones. I was taken from prison to interpret Pharaoh's dreams. He said, I am told that you can tell the meaning of dreams. Is this true? No, it is not. I said, but God can. Amen. For seven years, there will be lots of rain. Your crops will overflow, and there will be more than enough food for everyone. But there will be seven years of famine. God has sent you this morning, so you can be prepared. This is what you must do. You must find a wise and able man who is filled with the Spirit of God, put this wise and able man in charge of all Egypt. His job will be to see that enough food is saved up during the seven years, the seven good years to feed your people during the seven years of famine that will come after. I am Benjamin youngest of my 12 brothers. I am now the favorite. My father believes Joseph died a terrible death. When my brothers went to buy grain in Egypt, I did not go with them because my father was afraid harm would befall me like Joseph. Joseph was now the governor and in charge of distributing the food in Egypt. So he did not sell my other brothers any grain until I was present. When I arrived, 
we were taken to Joseph's house and sat down to eat. And my food was five times as much as my other brothers. After a night's rest, we arose early and left for home. But we were surprised when the governor's servant tracked us down and accused us of stealing. Forgiveness. Joseph often forgiveness to his brothers and encouraged them not to be grieved or to be angry with themselves. He did that because he knew that the sovereign Lord had been in control. He said to his brothers, you sold me, but then he reminded them, God sent me. He revealed who he was, hugged and embraced his brothers, and asked them not to be grieved or to be angry with themselves. His attitude was most remarkable in that he refused to impose any blame on them, but wanted only to impress upon them the hand of the Lord that had been clearly evident in his life. In no way was their responsibility diminished, but equally in no way had the Lord ever lost control of the situation. We must learn from experience that to ignore the divine sovereignty is arrogance, but to ignore human accountability is a major irresponsibility. Joseph continued by saying to his brothers, God sent me before you to preserve prosperity for you in the earth and to save you in your lives by a great deliverance. Genesis chapter 45, verse seven. He invited them to explore the wonderful workings of the Lord and see how an understanding of the Lord can deal with comprehending these dramatic disclosures. It would be understandable. Joseph was rejected, abandoned, and banished by his brothers from his father's house to the dungeon or the prison of in, in Egypt. Joseph suffered for his integrity. However, he forgave because the Lord was with him. If you could get a glimpse inside the courts of heaven just now, you see the arms of Jesus wide open, beckoning to you along with his angels saying, forgive, forgive, forgive. With your arm, with your dreams in your minds, forgiveness in your heart, and the Lord as your leader, be encouraged today, church. Do what you must do. Always remembering that weeping will endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. <laughs>